Hey, you already know what time it is. It's your big homie, big baby, man. Check this out. Um, it's something wrong with our people today, man. It's something very wrong with our people. I just had a conversation, and um, I was talking was talking about various things, but then I start. I um, we got on the topic of of um, homosexuality or whatever. Now, check this out. I got two young boys and a young girl. My boy, one of my boys is one. One of my boys is four. And my my daughter is eight. Check this out. The, the person that I was talking to, I love dearly, and I don't really want to put them out there like that. So, check. They said um, that... It's uh it's okay for people to choose to be what they want to be. Okay, now boom. Be what you want to be is 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 insanity. There is no be what you want to be. Only thing you could be what you want to be in life is choose what type of job you have. You can choose where you want to be, uh, what type of person you want to be. You can. Your sexual preference is not have nothing to do with who you are your sexual orientation has nothing to do with who you are and secondly no no boy no nobody in life is supposed to be sexually penetrating a young boy or or young child of any type so how are they give giving these children the freedom to choose their preference sexually their sexual preference when there's no, there should be no sex, birds in the bee talk, or anything like that to a young child that's below the age of 15, 16, 13, 14. At the, you might want to talk to your young boys at like 13, 14, 15. You might want to start talking to them about it at the ages of 14, 15, 16, stuff like that. But And preparing them for the world. But you don't want to give them the choice to, to choose to to. Inter interact you don't give nobody no motherfucking choice to do no sexual choice as a young child that's insanity that's profanity and insanity because I'm not talking no birds and bees to my children until I see that they're starting to have interest in the birds and the bees do you understand what I'm saying so all these you can make your choice and this these are motherfuckers who do not have children these are e or evil motherfucker. Because what you do in your bedroom is for grown ups. It's for grown ups. It's not for children. Children are supposed to be learning, developing, having character development. And then how are you going to develop develop your character when you're destroying character? If you was born as a male with male genitalia, how are you going to destroy your self, your self esteem like that? If you were born as a female with female genitalia, how would you destroy your mentality and your mental state and your self-esteem to, to say that what you have is not good enough or you don't feel comfortable with what you have and what you were born with? This is pure insanity that we've been indoctrinated with because real humans have always been real humans since humans been fucking humans. So miss me with that your child could be what he want to be shit. You better teach your child how to read, write, and riff, and do math and arithmetic and all that so they can be a decent person. Give them character traits so they can be a decent addition to society. Not be a sexual nympho. Because what you do in your bed is for grown-ups. So you better worry about that once you get grown. Children have no right to choose what and who they are. Except for the fact that they need to identify with what and who they are. Children need to be taught what and who they are. Not allowed to be unicorn fairy man. I'm the unicorn fairy man. I feel like a bubblegum unicorn today. Get the fuck out of here. Real men, stand up. Raise your sons to be men. Real women, stand up and raise your daughters to be women. Or else you will, we will not exist. Because I'm going to tell you something. One generation of people, if everybody in the generation of people was a homosexual, a true homosexual, there would be no second generation after them. Do you not understand the key points and the key 
purposes for this shit. Dean, let me say that one more time and I'm gone. If there was a whole generation where everybody in it was a homosexual, only messing with their the same sex, there would be no reproduction and there would be no second generation. This is the purpose of homosexuality. Wake up and smell the coffee and get your motherfucking mind right. It's your big homie, Big Betty. Miss me with that child could be what he want. A child could, no, a grown up can be what he wants. But a child, if he's in a man's house and uh, raised in a right house in a good uh, environment, he's going to be, learn and develop as a child. And then as an adult, you make your choices of what you want. As a teenager, once you get a little bit of freedom, you can do what you want. But you ain't doing that shit in my house. And I'm not, I don't have those problems with my children. My children are being raised as men, as, oh, as young boys and as young lady. So they can understand what it's like to be a husband and a wife. And a father and a and a mother. That's what I'm raising. It's your big homie, big bad. They wake up and smell the coffee, man. Look, look, look. ABCs in the background here, baby. That's what we teaching our kids. ABCs in the one, two, threes, baby. All that uh, sexual preference is not for children. That's for weirdos. For all you weirdos, get your life together, get some therapy, and get your mind right before it be over for you. You be 65. With nobody around you trying to figure out what to do with your life. It's your big homie, Big Bad A.